Hello and welcome back to some Nautica and my name's CJ. Now in the last episode where we just left off, we'd just been down into the Grand Reef and went down into the deep cave where we visited the abandoned uh, the abandoned base and we managed to acquire ourselves some blueprints for the aquarium which is something that we are possibly going to build today. Also on the return journey back I also found myself some more gel sacks and also got myself some gel sack spores so we can finally grow our own. So first things first, the first thing that I want to do today then is pop down an exterior grow bed. Oh, there's the alien contain uh, containment which needs five glass and two titanium which we'll get on in just a sec. So let's build ourselves an exterior grow bed. Uh, whoa, 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 that sounded a bit close. No, he's not close. I'll tell you what, let's uh, put this in a bit of a safer area. Hey, uh, boy, can you leave me alone? Go away. I hope he hasn't uh, done any damage to the base. I might have to just go across and kill him. Right, so, let's place a grow bed here. Hmm. Now that's going to play with my OCD. Let's see if we can get it a bit more in line. Uh, please give me the build it. There we go. That does seem slightly better. It's not perfect, but it's better than what it was before. And it was really making me itch. Listen, bud, leave me alone. I am gonna, I'm gonna end you if you carry on, bud. Right, so we've got those planted in there now. Those should start to grow. Uh, excuse me. There we go. Let's plant that last one in there as well. Uh, we've already got two, which I'll start use of in a moment. What I'm going to do though, I'm just going to gather all of the glass and a few more items ready for us to build the alien containment. And then we'll get underway with building our alien containment. I think it is going to go in here probably go up a couple of floors as well so it will mean that we're now going to build an extension on top of this one as well hopefully it shouldn't connect because we already have a glass pane there uh, i might put something against that wall so it doesn't connect there as well uh, so i'll get that done and i'll be right back in just a second i've got all the items together and i've got my glass got the titanium that i need uh, first things first then i'll just quickly show you where i've decided to build this Unfortunately, it wasn't going to let us place another multi-room on top of here uh, without connecting the connections and with having this table and chairs there, I don't know quite want connected up to that one there. So what I've done, I've built one just off here because it's going to be the specimen lab anyway. Uh, so let's go in underneath through here. Uh, you can see I've made it two floors as well. Uh, one thing I have just thought about though that I didn't think about just is I'm going to need a hatch to get into the alien containment so we can get up to the next floor. I'm also going to need a temporary hatch on the floor above so we can get up there as well. Provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do then, let's grab the glass out of here, considering we don't really come in here that often. That's only one piece. Uh, actually, I just thought we could leave that there because it's not the glass that I'm going to need. It's actually going to be a piece of quartz that we need. Funnily enough, I've just run out of quartz. So what I think I'm going to have to do is go out and grab just one more piece of quartz. So unfortunately, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut away again while I'm just going to grab the quartz and I'll be back with you in just a sec. I've got the quartz needed then so we can make uh, a way into here. So let's put a hatch on Oh, let's not put the hatch on there just yet. We want to actually get into the top compartment. So let's just put a temporary hatch on here. And let's head on in. And then build the second alien containment chamber on top of here. There we go. Right now, with this, there's a few things that you can do with it. I'll just quickly get out and reconstruct this hatch. So we're going to need to pl place this hatch on the actual containment chamber itself. Uh, let's climb out. 
go back into here. And we want to place a hatch down on here. I think we're going to place it on the side so you don't see the many you run in. Uh, now what that means is we can actually enter into here and drop any of the creature eggs that we can find in here and they will hatch. And you can also use the base as a planter as well for planting things in here just in case you want to make it a bit more fancy. Uh, so we will use that in the future but what I want to get on now with is creating the Mark 3 depth module. That does mean we're going to have to grab the current module that we've got. Uh, I'll leave it to this side. Yeah. Oh, a bit of a glitch there going up and down that stair. Right, so let's take the module out. Uh, for the new module, then, we need, I believe, it's two plasteel ingots and two aerogel. Oh, and speaking of which, we've got a radio message as well, so let's just listen to the new radio message. <laughs> Oh, so that's a uh, LiPod 7, and they're requesting immediate uh, immediate assistance. Uh, for some reason, they didn't actually play the message, but that's not a problem. We can go out there at some point. So what I'm going to need now is to grab uh, titanium, and we're also going to need two lithium per uh, plasteel ingot. And I believe I've just got enough. I believe I've only got four pieces left wherever I put it. And then we're also going to need aerogel. Now, the aerogel is the gel sacks, the here, and the aluminium oxide. That's the one, these crystals here. So we should have enough now to upgrade this to a Mark II. We just need to turn the titanium ingots, uh, turn the titanium into ingots, and then turn it into the plasteel ingots. seem to be short on a bit of titanium but that's something we can easily get hold of and we also need to make the aerogel and we need two of these as well right, and how much titanium do we have two four six eight nine so we only kind of need one more piece that could be quite easy for us to get just look for a little uh, outcrop there's one now there we go, titanium straight away. Most common resource you can find. There we go. Right, so I've turned that all into an ingot and turned that also into plasteel. And now we can finally get the Mark 3 upgrade, which means we can go to the full depth capacity in the CMOF. go. Now we should be able to craft up the Mark III. There we go. Now if we place this Mark III module into the CMOS, I think it should increase our maximum depth to 700. Yeah, by 700 meters. And if it was the prawn suit, it would be 8. So if we equip, equip that in now, crush that now on the sea bottom is 900 meters, including the 100 it originally started with. Welcome aboard all systems online. And that does mean that we can now go down to some extreme depths, probably delve around a bit more in those dangerous caves that we found. Now, what I'm going to quickly do now, I just want to check to see how we're doing on time and possibly see if there's anything else that we can get done today. Uh, so I'll just be back in a second. Right, so we, we do have quite a lot of time remaining. Uh, I've kind of rushed through this uh, a bit today. So what I want to do is I want to see if we can go down into the depths of the mushroom cave, have a bit more of a look around. Plus we've got the sonar as well now, so that's going to help us out uh, a bit more as well. Be able to navigate slightly better in the caves. Mm. This one doesn't seem to go down as far as I thought, but we aren't too far from the actual mushroom cave entrance, so we can just head straight over there. Ooh, what is that? Oh, there is some eggs here. I think what I'll do, I'll grab one of those. 
just so we can see what it is that we've got down here, what each one of these eggs are. Now we have the containment units, it will be worth us grabbing a few, just to see what we can find. Grab up this quartz as well, because it seems to be running out left, right and centre. So I think while we have a little adventure through these cave systems, I'll also do a little bit of gathering of items that I find. And I, I could really do with stop crashing into the walls of the cave, if that would help. Right, so we're back out, let's head over. Oh, we could actually head over to these life pods as well that are sunk below depths that we couldn't reach before. So I think we'll head to life pod 12 first, and then we may come back and head to the one that's sunk below 500 meters, because uh, we couldn't reach that one at all before. I may have to take a quick pit stop on the way back though, just to top off my water and food. And I want to be careful as well, don't want to travel too low. We all know what happens if we travel too low, we don't want anything spawning in, it's trapping us inside. Don't seem to be having much issue with the loading of the map. Now, with the new computer, it still is a bit laggy, but that just probably is down to the game itself. Right, and this is an area I aren't too fond of either. These can cause some major damage to the Seamoth, so I don't really want to let them get anywhere near me. Stay away, boys. Ah, so this one's out by a thermal pocket. It's nice to know it's right by a thermal pocket. It isn't really too far away from the base either. We could technically run back a cable from here and potentially get some thermal power to the base. So let's leave that one as is and head straight over for the CTO Young. Uh, CTO U, who's sunk below 500 meters. Then we will try and have a look for some food along the way. In fact, I know where we can get some easy food. Oh, and there's another creature egg there as well, so we'll pick that up. Let's get some of these here. Now, I'm pretty sure they do supply H2O. That's mainly the one that runs out quick. So these are going to be to our advantage. And uh, I don't think we're going to have too much of a problem with finding any other food because we've got an abundant amount of fish and I can instantly cook them with this knife. There we go. So now we're back to square one. Right now, we're, let's head straight on out to CTO's. CTO use sunk escape pod. He sounds like he's getting a bit close. Just for safety precautions, we'll give him a quick EMP blast. Now this radar is going to come in pretty handy when we go down into those cave systems again. It'll help uh, guide us through. Seems like this one is going to be the other side of that. Uh, we do not want to bump into them. No, thank you. I've already had too many run-ins with him. Ah, so we buy the island, I see. Can't remember if there's a way through, through these caves. I think we are going to have to go past him. Looks like he's just gone through the wall, though. So we're, we'll just uh, take that as an easy sign to cut past him. Yeah, he's gone deeper, we're safe, we're in the clear. Does it like we're going to have to go around this island as well, though. Ah, and now I can hear... Yeah, you stay over there, please. Don't fancy one of them teleporting me out to the Seamoth. We've all seen how that goes down. Stay away, please. Is that a creature egg? Nope. I 
That's a piece of assault. strangest feeling that we probably have already been down to this one in the Cyclops with it being down by the floating islands. I'm not too sure though. Once we find the check though I will take it off the list and get the marker removed. I'm pretty sure we left it up because it hadn't been down here but we'll uh, have just a quick check again. Probably see if we can pick up some more diamond while we're down here as well. There may have been a chance we haven't come down this deep. And no uh, we definitely haven't because we're coming over to the blood cow. Uh, there are a few things I want to grab while we're over here as well, so it is worth us coming over. Like, I want to grab some more of this blood oil, uh, as we will need a bit of it. Oh yeah, and we definitely haven't been in here. It will be worth leaving the marker up though, because this is somewhere that I do want to come to. Uh, as this is going to be where we're going to head into the Lost River biome, I believe. Yeah, and he's down here. Can you uh, stay away please? We can EMP him though, no minute we get down here. Let's uh, get down here first. Mm, didn't quite scare him off as I'd have hoped. Uh, looks like there's nothing for us to grab down here as well. Oh, there's a PDA, so we'll grab that. And let's grab where there's quartz as well. It seems like there's a lot of quartz down here, so it's worth remembering. And there's uh, a lot of those deep sea K uh, mushrooms as well. We definitely need some more of this blood oil. Let's we'll grab what we can while we're here. And then we'll get out of here before the uh, sea moth gets destroyed. Yeah, we definitely want to get out of here before one of them teleporters grabs us. Can't quite remember what they're called. Uh, yeah, see, he nearly had me then. Whoa, he just fired all them at us. Now that's a first, I've never seen him do that before. Can you leave me alone, please? Go away. Flash it. Ah, oh, EMP, freeze, what's going on? Get off me. We're gone, we're gone, we're gone. Now, I think this is the cave that leads down into the Lost River biome. I mean, it might be weird if it's just having a little nose, but... It, to me, it feels like we have a current pushing back at us. It seems like the sea moth's gone pretty slow down here. And it definitely does go deeper, which does lead me to believe this does lead to the Lost River biome. Which also means it could lead us down to... Oh yes, this is definitely the Lost River biome. This could lead us straight to the other alien base as well. But we will need to come down here with the orange key and possibly that purple key that we have as well. And yeah, we've got the bonefish down here as well. I'm not too sure which part of the Lost River biome this is. I think it's the Dead Forest or whatever they call it. So there's some skulls and everything around here. Whoa, leave me alone, guys. That's definitely somewhere new I've never been before. I'll give it that. This was never implemented into the game when I first uh, played Subnautica. And as you can see, it does dip off deeper again down there. Is there anywhere else we can go? No, so there's just that entrance there. Alright, I think what we will do then, we will have a quick gander down here. While we're here, we may as well take a sneak peek. We've got plenty of uh, power. Sonar, that's going to be our only guide down here. There's quite a lot of uh, remains and leftovers. Pretty sure we can scan this, but I might leave the scanning until we come back down. 
Oh no, that looks a bit alien-like. So, are we actually close to the alien base? What the hell? Stay away, thank you. I believe we are coming up on the alien base. Yes, here it is. So we're definitely going to have to come back down here, but now we know where it is, so we know how to get down here. And I really do like it down here, it's pretty cool, in all fairness. This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Cause unknown. Competing theories. Is that the way in? No. Where's the way in? Detecting an alien broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads, caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Yeah, but we're still gonna go in either way. Oh, is the whole thing destroyed? Well, I'll, uh, this is uh, quite new to me. It was never like this before. I'm sure you could actually get in here and walk around. Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Yeah, no shit. Oh. Can we take anything from that? No. Now, I'm pretty sure this base was nothing like this before. I'm pretty sure you could actually come in and walk around. I can't remember it being destroyed like this. Oh, but there's a good sign. Can we actually get through there? No. Nope. What do we need for that? Another purple tablet. So we need, do need to come back down here with the tablet. Uh, let's go have a peek, see what's down here. Uh, can we not scan that? No. Nope. Looks like they've been collecting specimens. Oh, there's a data here. Check. Take that data terminal. Integrating new PDA data. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Looks like they've been collecting some big specimens. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here that we can scan. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here that we need to scan either. We've got the big massive uh, decaying carcass over here. Quickly, let's get out of here. Keep behind me oxygen. Uh, didn't know you could scan you. Probably means we can capture them. Oh, and this is the lab. Evidence suggests that indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive gene manipulation. Yeah, gene manipulation being what created the warpers. So we found where they were building warpers. I'm sure there's something else in here that I need to get. I'm not too sure. I'm doing the best I can to look around. And worry about the oxygen at the same time. Ooh, data, data terminal. Take that, to the thank bacterium you. is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. So this is where it first tells us to do the self-scan. So let's uh, see what the self-scan is telling us now. I've scanned myself before. I've already seen that it shows I'm infected. Scan. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. So it's spread to me skin. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so that was triggered by coming into this space. I've been waiting for that in all fairness. I was hoping it would have happened sooner. 30 seconds. Uh, I do want to get in there though, so I am going to have to come back with a key, but we're probably going to leave Welcome that aboard, for another Captain. episode. Now, what we're going to do then, I'm just going to travel back to the base then, get ourselves out of this place. We now know his way in here, so that's not a problem at all. We will find it relatively easily now, hopefully. Uh, I say that, and I don't even know the way I came in. Uh, I believe it was over this way. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and get back to the base. Uh, then 
I'll be ready for the next episode. We'll come back down here, just get whatever's left down here. We'll also have a, a route around these caves just to see if there is anything else we can find. Uh, and then once we've got everything that we can, we'll then see about venturing on with the story. Uh, we've unlocked nearly everything now apart from the nuclear reactor. Uh, I'll have to do some research on that and find out where it is that, that that's situated. We may even come down here to build a base as well because I do like this biome. Uh, and it would look pretty cool with a base down here. So that's something else that I'm probably going to put in work as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to leave it here guys. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos from yourself, also feel free to subscribe. Thank you.